Alright, we're back. Um, it's been a while since we've played this game, actually. Um, I think it's been three weeks since I've uploaded it. So, we'll see how we go, hey? Um, we'll continue on with the quest. Main story, I guess. Um, we'll do this one first. Uh, I think we gotta travel back to Hogwarts. Uh, if we travel to this one, we should be fine. Loading screen. Look. Oh, here we go. Right, we gotta go to the herbivore class, which is this way. Um. Okay, so we've made some upgrades. We look like this now. Um, I've been doing some side missions off camera. I've gotten some new gear. Uh, I've now got the Quidditch um gloves, Crimson Quidditch. I now have the solar protection spectacles. I'm also level 15 now. Uh, we also have a new hat. A herbologist hat. Uh, scarf is the same. Uh, I believe we got a new cape as well, robe as well. And the outfit is still the same. So let's continue through with this game. Oh, we gotta run down here. Um, it looks like they've also oh, hasn't repaired the frame rate problem with this game, it looks like. Um, I forgot it's still set on Ultra, so we'll go recommended. Alright, we should get better frames now. Revelio. Um, there's nothing around here, nope. Oh, I do have a flame here. Ah, oh, let's go to our herbivore class. Ah, oh, we gotta wait. So this is our first herbivore class. So, let's begin it. Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Look how oh, silly I look. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Right. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. <laughs> this year will be filled with enchantment and mm -hmm. excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. I ran theory on the quest before. Now then, Side mission. today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, What's going on with let's protect skin? our ears. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> oh yes, I actually do it. Ooh, you find warning. Quickly, place your mandrake in the new pot and pat down the soil. Ooh, that's loud. The soil should envelop the root like a 
warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. All right. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Of course it's mature. Splendid work, everyone. Is that really all of it? A tiny now little bit. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting table. Mm. I wonder if hypocrites... The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Uh, how many people can I talk to? I can talk to you. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. I adore Most strange. With my Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Oh, I didn't know that. Idea. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Oh, uh, that's everyone. Revelio. Uh, nothing else to do. Alright, let's talk to her. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf. I'll say. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Yeah, I already have them. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've yeah, arranged sorry, I've you to have your it. own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. All right, so I gotta go Let's back to my table. Let's see how balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient right. in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's So class. ten minutes to grow. All right. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find uh, that some plants good. are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. All right. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, All and right. mind your fingers. They do bite. All right, so we got to go then, yeah. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's I'm nice Leander. to meet you too. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really Can good. Can I collect these? But you oh. right slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, sure you I did. would've. If Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. With Gryffindor's fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. Oh, you're Gryffindor. You can go away. I only want Slytherin. Here we are. Home of the Chinese. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Now, I want to collect them all. Tab. Look at that. Oh. That's more than anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. 
Oh, Vicious can't little pick bastards, it up. aren't they? <coughs> My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I'm not supposed to come in here, sure, but that's his dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Sure, sure. Anyway, we uh, <laughs> probably ought to head back to class. Yeah, we probably should. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I want to collect all the plants I can. What plants can I and can't I collect? Oh, so I can't. Revelio. Didn't see you. I tried this part of the. Oh, cool. Uh, if it's beef me because of that. I can't get to it, okay. <clears throat> uh, we gotta go back here. What's in here? That says so more of this. I gotta go back down here. Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. <coughs> I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do missing seem to digits. be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh, as I'm, I plants off so much. I don't care for plants, to be honest. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labour. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Yeah, so as I said earlier, um, we've been, I've been extremely busy. Really relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. Uh, four minutes, four and a half minutes. Uh, new quest available. Uh, I might go do this one. Um, just go do this stuff. Uh, inventory. Um, Kindness and concern are as necessary in Let's open up the map. Oh, I've got fast travel here. <coughs> Seems like games loading faster too. Like I'm not getting like one frame. Your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh, I'll go downstairs down. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, I gotta go downstairs. Running, running, running. This is my sister's first year. Uh, we gotta go this direction. Oh, this could be a long run, I think. They're punching each other. Ah, uh, through here. This is a long way to run. I've got to go this way, apparently. Got to go up these stairs. Oh, what's happened? My game crashed. 
Wow, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back again. Um, game crashed, so we gotta run back there, apparently. Hopefully the game doesn't crash this time. It'll be quite disappointed if it does. Uh, please don't crash game. Please don't crash this time. I don't mind. Uh, we'll find out if the game crashes. I want to see what happens if I'm invisible here. What happens if I'm just invisible here? Does he hit back? Nah, I doubt it. Alright, let's get to the um... Back to where we were. Alright, um, and the game hasn't crashed. Good. So, we're currently on our way. Um, I visited this earlier. Area earlier. Oh, I could just fast travel here. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Anyway. Revelio. Uh, enough for me to collect here. Not by sounds it. But there is something right here. This moonstone. Um. Oh, there's mushrooms here as well. Collect these. <coughs> Alright, let's um. collect use. Rebellion. Uh, so why are we travelling all the way this direction, eh? I don't think I was allowed to be over in this section, to be honest. I could have fast travelled here as well. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. Levioso. I was trying to get that to float. There we go, got it. No. Alright, we missed it. Uh, we got to go down here. There we go, got it. Got you as well. <laughs> so why am I going this down here? It's dangerous if I'm not careful. Um. So we keep going down this direction. The game hasn't crashed again, so that's a good part. Revelio. Uh, collect views. And it is good to see you, my friend. Ah, oh, it's you. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmead. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I can't say. Oh, I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. <laughs> I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona was an intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. I don't Both think so. of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. 
Glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. Oh, right. fun. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank well, you. That was Nancy. an easy mission if this is just it. Be on your guard. Alright, let's quickly get this mission done. Uh, I gotta go help this stranger. Danger. Uh, it's a side mission there. Side mission over that way. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. <laughs> I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student? You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough that of you. Leave her alone. Stupid fair. Super fair. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what's the light oh, go out your eyes? Alright. Uh. Get over here, you insolent! We can hurt them all! I'm not going anywhere. Take this! You're the top of my dead body! Oof. I'm not down with you! Alright. Come on. Well, that hurt. Oh, I'm good. Gun. Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Oh, hell, I heal. Rebellion. Gotcha. Better that time. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Rebellion. I've been so close to Hogwarts. Right, we'll talk to him. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Research 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 interesting. Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area, I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. Sure, <laughs> he you. was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. How fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. 
I suspect that mallow sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the mallow sweet is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Mm. Sure. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. No, oh, I don't have much time left, so... This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Alright, I'm doing it. <clears throat> See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these piles. Uh, do I need to use this spell? Incendio. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Alright, so we solved it. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, how beautiful! <laughs> what a day! I can hardly believe it. Alright, let's talk. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Yeah, you Are probably all have. trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a so pleasure should I. to meet you. i got to go in like a couple minutes. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Alright, there we are, we're done. Um. Okay, so we get it. Anyway. I gotta go. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.